Hello beautiful souls. During this time, there was a lot of deep subconscious healing, energy shifting happening from within you, perhaps even beyond what your conscious mind could grasp or understand. So during that time, you may have felt guided to spend most of your time alone, again in some kind of isolation, which I'm hearing is really or was really a sacred container for this deep cellular healing that was taking place within you. But again, collectively, many of you who are tuned in here are actually shifting out of this. So of course, we are constantly shifting, healing, growing, and evolving throughout the course of our incarnation. But I do feel that there was a period of time that you've just come out of where that healing and that shifting energetically was actually intensified. So of course, it's always taking place. But during that period of time, because the healing was so intense energetically, you were most likely very shut off externally from the rest of the world, from influences and energies externally, to give you that time and space to really, again, purify your own energy field. And most of that was happening really subconsciously. But I just keep getting this yes energy, like jumping into something, sharing yourself in a new way, getting back out into the world in some way. Now of course, this will look differently depending on the person, but you may have just felt spontaneously pushed or guided in some new direction in the physical 3D world, working with or doing something physical, something material. It could be a physical relationship or connection, it could be socializing in some new way, it could be visiting a new place, traveling, creating something in the physical material world. This just feels like it has a heavily physical aspect to it. Now of course, if you aren't yet fully in this energy, I sense this is something coming for you, particularly this summer is really standing out. So particularly the months of June, July, and August, I'm getting that you may be feeling this inspiration to share yourself with the world in some new way, to create in a new direction. So I'm really hearing a message from someone's guides to allow yourself to live fully in the moment so that you can be attuned to that guidance when it strikes you to that inspiration when it comes to you. And I'm hearing that you're more open to receiving that inspiration the more free you are energetically and emotionally, meaning the less you are restricting, limiting yourself, or trying to control aspects in areas and timelines within your life. The more you are capable of clearly receiving and following that in the moment, present, intuitive guidance that is so powerfully leading you at this time. And that's why we have the card Loosen Your Grip and Portal. It's almost like the present moment is the portal here through which you step through these doorways that quantum shift you into brand new, very high vibrational realities. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe. My beloved love, but in order to access that metaphoric portal of the present moment, you have to, as this card says, really loosen your grip meaning really release or surrender that need that comes from the ego mind to control, to have a concrete knowing of all the outcomes. It's almost like a trade-off here where you can either have a sense of total control and knowingness of futuristic timelines, or you can live fully in the present and access that guidance from within that can take you through these portals to really magical, beautiful places that can allow you to shift in an exponential way in your life to take these so-called quantum leaps in your life that aren't possible when we're still holding on to those control mechanisms that keep our vibration at a lower state of being artificially. Wow, very powerful messages coming through from this Starseed Oracle card deck today. So I am going to be reshuffling the traditional tarot card deck and tuning into whatever you might need to hear at this time. What else can I channel for the beautiful divine feminines tuned in here? Specifically, I'm going to dive into the Divine Feminine Polarity. Of course, take these labels as they resonate with you personally because these will connect differently for different individuals listening. And we all too have a balance of Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine energy within us as well. So this could apply to your internal Divine Feminine or internal Divine Masculine. With the Magician card and the Page of Pentacles card, I feel that someone has been in the reversal of these energies, so I don't know who I'm speaking to here, but there may have been someone who creatively felt a little bit blocked or a little bit uninspired recently. With the magician card reversed here, you may have felt a little disconnected from your true manifesting ability. 
There may have been something that disrupted your energy or disrupted your routine. That could have happened recently. With the Page of Pentacles reversed, this could represent that recently you may have felt as though you received some kind of bad news or something may have felt like it was going wrong. But the interesting thing about these cards is, although they came out reversed, I kept intuitively wanting to turn them in the upright direction because I feel that there's a powerful element of transmutation here. Meaning, even if you were someone who was in that blocked energy, it's almost like everything is opposite here of how it appears. And I know I see the number 1212 as well. For someone, I know this sounds really strange, but I feel as though someone here is transmuting heaviness into lightness, transmuting a really dense energy into a really beautiful, high vibrational energy. Whoever I'm speaking to is a really powerful manifester, and your guides are really pushing you to continue consciously reclaiming that power, particularly if you're resonating with this message. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe.